So, as you can see here, this has turned into quite a bit of an adventure. Um, yeah, definitely underestimated how big it was, even though I kind of had a general idea. I was hoping maybe I had uh, found a smaller version of this structure, but alas, I would potentially like to make this my base. So I'm going to make the executive decision of any of the natural blocks that includes the stone, the gravel, carefully, and the dirt. I would like to take out and replace with stone bricks, which I have, yeah, a lot of cobble. I've gotten a couple extra shards too. But yeah, I just have like mountains of cobblestone now, so I may as well cook it up and make it into stone bricks and kind of recreate these structures to an extent. I was trying to preserve them and not touch anything that might potentially be like a part of the structure itself, but it's, it's too much. I can't keep track of everything. I'm going to have to start ripping things out and replacing them so that I know kind of what I'm working with. So this is something I'm probably going to be working on here and there. One of the first things I need to do is get like a storage room set up for here because of all the cobblestone and maybe like a furnace array if I need a lot of bricks, but we'll see. And I'll probably go on some adventures in the meantime <laughs> because this is, I, I like it, but it's very tedious after a while. So I need a break, go explore and stuff. Let's make one of these. And let's grab this. And grab this. Plop this down. And can that be expanded? No, it cannot. Okay. How about this? So renamed, and I will take this. And I'm going to have to redo this, but now I have a whole lot more area to work with. Yeah, and let's also rename this treasure map over here. And then take this. And let's go do some exploring. That is the treasure map done. <laughs> I do love the disappointment label. See map? This is what happens. This is what happens when you decide to override the treasure with a cave. Well this is a really cool find. I've got some mangrove swamp here. So I'll be able to get some saplings. And there's this really cool... I'm not even sure what this is. Let me get a little closer. And I'll tell you now. Oh my goodness, hello! I think this is the first time I've seen the frogs. In like, survival. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so it looks like this is... A very interesting formation of mud and stone. Is it really one wide like it looks like? Yeah, that's just a really cool formation there. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what this generation is, but it is very, very cool. My goodness. I don't even know what to say about this. It's just breathtaking in like a very weird way. <laughs> okay, I see the chest. Bell. Eh, nothing of super interest. 
And I see another one over here. Let me find the chest. Make sure my boat is in a less precarious position this time. And take a quick dive. Nothing great. Yep. And we have a dark oak forest over here. Or at least a forest that has dark oak trees. So that's one thing I uh, checked off my list. And it's right next to my arch nemesis. The birch forest, of course. And it looks like there's a lush cave here too. Very neat. I am going to have to do some inventory adjusting and nab some of this dark oak with saplings so that I can bring it home. Very cool. This has been a very fruitful adventure so far. Oh goodness, and I found another trails rune. This is so cool. I might actually like this spot a little bit better than the other one. Because it seems like it would be easier to dig out. Hmm. But I'm going to record this. And see what the future brings. As I continue exploring. I'm having way too much fun doing this. Oh my goodness. Look at this absolutely amazing... The cave generation here. This is just gorgeous. I think I may take some inspiration for this. For my base over by the trail ruins. Yeah, just very neat. I absolutely love how Minecraft generates now. Oh my goodness. This... This structure here? This really hurts my brain in so many ways, <laughs> but very, very cool. Do you see what I see? Let's see if we can be disappointed again. And hopefully I don't die. Oh, this looks a lot harder than other ones. Hi, Iron Golem. No, thank you. Rip. Oh, goodness. That's going to be quite a drive back. So I am very much at a point now where I am getting frustrated by just improper gear. Uh, the, the leather tunic and cap and iron leggings and boots, just, just not doing it at the moment. So I think I'm going to take a break, continue working on this, and then I'm going to finish getting this. I have to go back and get the mangroves in the top right. And I want to check out the pillager outpost while I'm there. But I definitely do not want to do it in my current armor. Because it's just, it's not working for me. I die so quickly, because we're on hard difficulty. I don't lose anything. But I'm still just not going to be able to explore it until I find some diamonds to get some good gear. And there are a few caverns around here. So I think what I'm going to do is, oh goodness, wrap this episode up here. And in between, I'm going to do some exploring and probably quite a bit of digging down the deep slate layer to see if I can get some diamonds. So I can actually get some decent gear instead of just dying constantly. <laughs> so I will see you all next time. Thank you for vibing with me. Stay radiant. Bye.